Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we have Snuggle Base and Acronym on into battle, and as usual, I will go over the map briefly. First off, gonna point out these start locations they chose. No, the start location can be anywhere along here for the blue player or west side player, anywhere along here for the east player. But the start locations they chose, the southwest and northeast respectively, that's typical. That's the safe spot, that's the defensible spot. The last few games we've seen an into battle involved start spots over in the northwest and south, sorry, northwest and northeast. I don't think there's any that's been nor southwest and southeast. No one seems to go for that. But yeah, northwest and northeast, that's a thing. That's a fairly common thing, but this is the safe area. So the other part of it, of course, being the metal, 1.9 everywhere, fairly even, fairly regular, roughly average metal. Both players start out with something of a cluster, but at the same time, they have quite a few metal spots near them. It's not quite clustered. This area here is... That's the first thing you get. This hill's moderately defensible, but a little bit risky. You can approach from both sides. Actually, no, you have to approach from the outside. Bots can't actually path up the sides here. This purple area, that's unpassable. So spiders can get up, but no one plays spiders in this map. Or very rarely do you see spiders in this map. It's playable, it's just not something that people play often. This metal spot is usually fairly risky, tends to be hit by units coming along the sides. Same with this top one here, and these ones out here, they're typically gone for, but it's similarly difficult to hold. Like these two over here are hard to hold, these two are not so much, as long as you can defend the northeast you're fine. But yeah, this map is a little bit tricky to defend everything, actually. It's quite open, it may not look it, but everywhere that there's these, these lines along the sides, that is a ramp. That is something that's vehicle passable. Which is actually also very common in this map, because, well, vehicles can pass almost everywhere. So let's begin Snuggle Base going for the Shield Bot Factory, while Aquanim goes for the Light Vehicle Factory, as I well mentioned, that's the thing to play. And Snuggle Base going for Early Economy, getting an Early Convict, not wanting to slow that down at all, just getting an Early... What the heck? Okay, the animation for that was really weird to start. Yeah, Convict, Early Convict, Early Bandits just for defense, while... Aquanim, on the other hand, is going for an early dart, by, followed by Scorchers. No Masons yet, Aquanim being very aggressive. But at this point, Snuggle Base has enough units, they can block off pretty much anything coming in. The Scorchers shouldn't be a big problem. They have radar, they can see what's coming, so they're probably fine. Well, Aquanim, on the other hand, they are going to be slightly behind economically for a little while. Very slightly, though, not, not even that appreciably. In fact... They haven't burnt a lot of their metal there. Wow, Snuggle Base is actually building up a bit slower. Aquanim, despite the fact that they started out without too many units, well, without a builder, they haven't been building enough. They've been focusing on economy. They're actually getting their economy up slightly faster. Although Snuggle Base, now with that last metal extractor, is it going to matter though? It doesn't look like it. The dart able to sneak past the bandits, take out a metal extractor. Nice early metal extractor kill. And the second one's also, is that going to be a full kill? I don't think so. It looks like the bandits will catch up. Yeah, it's... Oh, Snuggle Base? Yeah, they've they've caught up. That dart is dead. But still, that one metal extractor is that's pretty good at this stage in the game. Especially with Snuggle Base having nothing in reserve. While Akinim is a fair amount in reserve, they're gonna be able to burst out a good set of units now that they know what they need to build, which is just scorchers. They don't need to build anything special. They're not we're not seeing Thuglaw or anything fancy like that. We're just seeing bandits, so scorchers will work fine. Levelers would too, but scorchers will be when you consider the speed, like Aquanim needs speed. Aquanim knows that they can just get around this base. They can harass whatever they want. They don't need to worry about punching through those bandits. So why need levelers? Get scorchers. Just avoid everything. They don't, however, have any defenses up yet, so Snuggle Base's counterattack, and eh, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> I'll come back in a couple minutes when that actually reaches Aquanim's base. And Aquanim already getting a couple lotuses too. They know that there's something coming. They know there's gonna be a counterattack. I mean, there's always going to be a counterattack. So something of a rule of this game. There's always going to be a counterattack. If you're not sure, put up a couple static defenses. There's always going to be a counterattack. And I know I sound like a bit of a hypocrite for saying that. But it's something I'm learning the hard way. Just because I'm learning it the hard way doesn't make it hypocritical. It just means that I need to actually learn that lesson for real. And Snuggle Base going for a... Oh, Solar Wall Off. Is that Solar Wall Off going to be successful? It looks like it will. Acronym, assuming that the that on-hill metal extractor will be built, and that means that that solar wall will finish up right as the Scorchers get there. No way around it for the Scorchers. They have to punch through it, and that is going to be death. 
Aquanim wisely running away. Unfortunately for them, they lose a Scorcher in the process. But yeah, if it weren't... Oh man, that was a bad call. That was a bad call that worked really well for Snuggle Base. They went for the expansion, the Metal Extractor here, and that gave Snuggle Base all the time they needed. If it weren't for that, Snuggle Base's commander would be dead right now. Probably. It's a battle comm, so I'm not entirely sure about that. It would have been a pretty decent comm dive. I don't think it would have necessarily killed them, though. The Lotus would have been a problem. Without the Lotus, definite death. With the Lotus, four Scorchers, I think maybe. Had Aquanim microed that immaculately, it would have worked. I think Aquanim would be able to do that, though. Anyway, Aquanim is... Not, well, nice retreat micro on here. Unfortunately, their weak Scorcher is up front, which tends to happen. That's always the thing you have to be careful of, is the fact that, well... The unit that was up front is the one that gets killed. Ooh, nice Roach Hunt! That was a really good Roach Snipe! I just missed that too, but yeah, that was a great Roach Snipe. None of the Scorchers died in the process. The Roach did die. Unfortunately, these Scorchers are all in a really bad spot. They are not able to retreat properly. One of them... Wow. 8 health. 32 health. That is amazingly good. Unfortunately, the death of the Convict killed the other Scorcher too. That or the... It's Fellow's Heat Ray. One of the two, but... Both of the Scorchers died. Good Convict kill, though. That does stop the expansion that would have otherwise been a problem. But yeah, the fact that the Commander didn't die is a bit of a concern. And also the fact that all these units are dying in Snuggle Base's territory. This is not ideal. I think Aquanims are trying to put as much pressure on as possible. But the thing with 0k, you got to be careful about it, is If your pressure is failing, it's worse for you than if you didn't pressure at all. You have to be careful about that. And Snuggle Base starting to get a lot of metal to work with. How much metal is there? Let's see. There is about 500, 600 metal already being reclaimed. Snuggle Base able to take advantage of those Scorchers dying. And that's another 100 metal right there. Sorry, another 82 metal. But yeah, every Scorcher that dies is 50 metal for Snuggle Base. That's another 10 seconds of this reclaim. And that's like another 10 seconds of plus 5. At this point, Snuggle Base, for probably the rest of the game, has a really good metal... In, well, okay, almost has really good metal storage. Losing that Convict is a bit of a problem. Still, that is... That is a lot of metal that Aquanim's donating. And Aquanim, have they even been expanding in this time? They've been expanding a little bit, building a lot of... A lot of solar collectors, not a lot of metal extractors. Sheesh, Aquanim, you're, you're starting to fall behind. That pressure was pretty good early on, but it's starting to falter. I think Aquanim is getting flustered. I think really flustered. This is... Well, this Scorcher attack might do it, but there's always more bandits coming in. And at this point, with Snuggle Base having the reclaim to work with, and Aquanim doesn't want to lose that reclaim. Looks like they're sending their commander in for pretty much that purpose. Yeah, get up a, get up a caretaker, get back this reclaim, don't make a donation. And if this works, if Aquanim's able to keep this Caretaker up, which is not likely. Aquanim's commander is pretty threatening, but at this point I'm seeing Snuggle Base... No, still going for bandits. Going for a pretty big set of bandits, though. It's a dozen bandits. That should be able to take care of Aquanim's commander, even with the Particle Beam. Definitely take care of the Lotus and the Scorchers, however. Bit of a problem, but even then, Aquanim's commander... Not quite... Is it quite enough? Ooh, it is. Being a Strike Con, I wasn't totally sure. A strike crom with light particle meme. Oh, and a plate of armor plays. Yeah, they're fine. The increased hate the increased HP should help. Snuggle base's commander getting dove! There's a dive, but it's not a successful one. Those scorchers are dying once again. I'm a bit surprised Aquanim isn't just reclaiming with their commander outright. I can see they're what they're trying to do. They're getting the caretaker up. They want to get the Lotus to protect the caretaker to get the reclaim field. But that's not working out that well. Compared to just reclaiming with their commander. I kind of see they're probably trying to go for a bit of a commander push. It's just, I don't really see the logic. It's not working. However, Snuggle Base's commander is threatened. Sn oh, this is death. This is death. There we go. Snuggle Base loses their commander. Aquanim, nice commander snipe there. However, this is getting risky. Do a few convicts coming in. And it looks like there is, well, at this point, the Lotus is up. But the convicts are up as well. Snuggle Base can reclaim a lot of this, so this is going to be fairly even. And Aquanim, at the same time, hasn't really been expanding a whole lot in their main base. They've been building up a few metal extractors here and there. They haven't expanded to the northwest at all. Neither has Snuggle Base expanded to the southeast. They've been focusing entirely on this reclaim field, and I understand that. But I think if Snuggle Base have been expanding a little bit at the same time, they have the metal. They haven't been producing enough units. I think they have one caretaker. No, they have, they have one worker. They don't have a caretaker. They just have the one worker. 
So yeah, they'd probably be able to get away with this. If they were to expand at the same time, they'd, they'd slowly but surely get an advantage and from there, probably win. But at this point, they now have a Mason here. They're now reclaiming. They're now starting to almost make up for this. I mean, it's it's risky. That's the thing. It's They keep throwing Scorchers here, and with the extra metal... I think if they did have more metal extractors they'd be and more caretakers or more workers here in the factory, they'd be able to build up and be able to actually take this reclaim field. I know it's you know, they're throwing good money after bad, but still, I think in this case it's close enough. But at the same time, they don't have enough units. They're sending in Scorchers one at a time. That's not enough. They need about five. Actually, they need an increasing amount as the Lotuses keep getting built up. And now the Caretaker goes up. That Caretaker, in a safe spot, pretty good position. Once the Caretaker gets up, then Aquanim should start building up. But at this point, Snuggle Base, they've been reclaiming already. That's what I mean. Snuggle Base has been reclaiming throughout, and they've been using all this reclaim too. And that's why I'm wondering, why has Aquanim not been reclaiming throughout this fight? That doesn't make sense to me. Now the Caretaker on repair duty for some reason. Like I said, it's just... This... Aquanim is focusing a bit too much on securing the reclaim and not focusing enough on actually getting the reclaim. While well, Snugglebase is focusing on getting the reclaim, and that has been huge. Despite the pressure, they've been... They've been looking fine. I'm just surprised Aquanim has not been going over here and expanding over there, or expanding over to this area. They've just now started expanding to the rest of their main base. Not an expanding behind their main base, though, like I said, a little bit unsafe, but at least they know if something's coming in sooner rather than later. The bandits are going around the side, and that caretaker goes down without even reclaiming! That is painful. I mean, at least the bandits got stunned out, so it's something, but still, that is really painful. It's all this stuff, all this free reclaim here that has not been taken. Why is Aquanim not taken? How much reclaim is there? There's 3,000 metal of- what the heck? Seriously? Oh, okay, most of that's the commander, but even then, discounting the commander, which is 520, yeah, that's still a lot. That's still 2,500 metal worth of reclaim, none of which has been taken by Aquanim, or almost none of which has been taken by Aquanim, because they've been trying to- they've been basically trying to do it perfectly. They've been trying to build the Caretaker farm. They've been trying to just do it... They haven't been trying to do it when they can, as they can. They've been trying to do it perfect or not at all. And not at all is exactly what's happened here. Snuggle Base takes this. Snuggle Base has been taking this throughout. And at this point with... How many workers are even here? Eight? Yeah, eight workers. That's 40 metal per second that Snuggle Base has for the next... 20... For the next 70 seconds? For the next minute... Over a minute, Snuggle Base will have 60 metal per second. They don't have the caretakers to work with this. And they're pushing really hard. They have, a, even then, they've got 50 build power? No, 30, 20, 30, 40, 45. 45 build power. Oh, no, I was right. They had, a, they had another convict there. So yeah, they have 50 build power. They have 16, well, they had 50 per second. They have a huge amount of metal to work with, and Aquanim didn't take any of that. But that's what I mean, is Aquanim just didn't go for it when they had the chance. That's the thing, you just... I am kind of surprised Aquanim was going for the perfect. Rather than going for something good enough. Aquanim hasn't totally lost yet, but that is a big blow. At this point, it looks like Snuggle Base is trying to go around the back. Trying to attack Aquanim's base directly. Aquanim's base is not especially well defended. And all this reclaim... All this reclaim, that's half the reclaim has already gone to Snuggle Base. They've already taken about 1,500 metal of reclaim. Aquanum has taken, I think, maybe 100, 200 maybe, total? Hardly any. Snuggle Base could go for Striders right now. I'm not kidding. They could go for a Strider if they wanted to close it out like that. They could afford it. And Aquanum's commander, is it going to die? I I don't know. It's it's risky. Aquanum, however, is getting directly attacked. Those bandits did not go around the back, but Akram's commander, is it gonna die? It's getting stunned out, and yeah, it's gonna die. And with that, Snuggle Base basically takes the game. Akram loses. <sighs> All I gotta say, perfect is the enemy of the good. Bit of a trite aphorism, but in this case, it's extremely appropriate, given that were it not for the aspiration to the perfect, Akram would have been able to take at least 500 medal of that. In the amount of time that they were using, they were there, if their commander had been reclaiming a lot of that time, they could have built more units to take it. They possibly wouldn't have even taken the reclaim field with all that metal. Not to mention if they had built up around the back on top of that just to get an extra 6-8 metal per second. At the very least, to make up for the fight so they weren't behind in metal. That was really unfortunate, though. So, Aquanim... 
that's that's kind of unfortunate. Snuggle Base takes that. Snuggle Base is just taking the reclaim as they could get it while Akinem going for the perfect caretaker nest before even starting. Bit of a shame, but that was that. So, I will have another one, possibly the last one for tonight. I'm not sure. It's I usually do three, but at the same time, I feel like it's going to be a little short. Flip Tip and Failthos on Hide and Seek. Well, okay, I suppose given the map, it's not that big of a deal that it's not especially long. That map produces some very long games sometimes. It's a good map, but it's not, maybe not the most appropriate for 0k. It's a good map, though. I, I like it. It's just, it, last couple matches I've cast on it, it took a while. Anyhow, I'll be back with that in just a moment, so stay tuned. <laughs> 